Hi guys, welcome to Vlogtober day 18. I am just getting ready this morning and I thought I would again take advantage of having a decent setup, well semi-decent compared to home, to show you me getting ready in the morning and talk you through some of my favourite products and stuff. The lighting isn't ideal because obviously my left half, the left half of my face is in darkness. I wonder if I can move you actually. I'm kind of sitting on the desk because Zach's stolen the bathroom for me. That's slightly better. That'll just have to do, you guys. So I just got out of the shower, wash my face with water, and then I use the Ordinary Niacinamide and Sink Serum. Um, you guys know I love this serum. I don't know what's attached to that. It's my fave. So yeah, I'm probably just gonna talk you through some products and speed through the rest because I'm gonna get all completely ready here with my makeup and stuff. I just go straight in with my watermelon glow pink juice moisturizer again a couple of pumps of that all over the base and then that's it for the morning skincare routine nice and simple okay so first up I'm going to use the complexion rescue um, tinted hydration gel cream from bare minerals but I have been switching up a little bit recently in some of the most recent vlogs with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I kind of just changed my mind between the two as to which I want to wear that day. The Bare Minerals is slightly lighter coverage and obviously the Anastasia Beverly Hills is a foundation. But um, yeah, more often than not, I prefer a more kind of skin-like look, less of a kind of flawless look. The Luminous Foundation is like medium coverage I would say. I was not going to satisfy those of you who love like a super heavy, co heavy coverage but it does have good coverage for such like kind of a lightweight foundation. I think foundation wise it's definitely the kind of thing that I like to have on hand because um, yeah it feels like nothing on the skin, it feels really nice and it's got good coverage. But today I'm going to go for the bare minerals. But yes, it just depends on your preference. Um, this is obviously more of a tinted moisturiser really, but it does have decent coverage. Then I'm going to take my Bare Minerals Original Foundation on top, so I like the combination of the two products the best. You guys have seen me do this before, if you've watched any of my makeup videos, but yeah, it's the combination that I love the best. Okay guys, so the other thing I wanted to talk to you about that I've been kind of switching up recently is my liner because I've added a couple new ones into my repertoire. I usually use the NYX Epic Ink, which is a great liner. It's one of my favourites for sure, but I've got two new ones as well. Obviously got the Huda Beauty Life Liner, which I did a little video on on my Instagram, um, and it's got two ends. It's got a liquid end and a pencil end, which is quite useful if you, oh my god, I almost spilled everything everywhere. everywhere. If you, like me, like to kind of tight line under your liner, um, so you can have kind of both options there in one product, which is good if you want to keep things minimal. The liner itself, I don't love the application brush as much as some other liners because it can be, I think it's just a different type of liner than the kind of liner that I typically use, which is like a proper little um, brush situation um, and you dip it in and you get it out and usually I'm using like pen liners which have like a brush at the end um, that's all lots of little hairs. I don't know if this one is like lots of little hairs but it's more like a paint brush if you guys know what I mean versus like a pen. Um, so it's a different type of liner than what I would usually use um, and I do find that I don't get as much precision with it but this liner lasts like no other liner ever. I You cannot get it off. You have to work quickly as well like if you make a mistake you have to get rid of that quickly but if you are looking for a long lasting liner you could do much much worse than this one it is 
really good for that. Yeah, if you find your liner like transferring, I can imagine that it would be great for that. Recommend that one for that. I always think I don't get that much precision with it, but then when I wore it the other day and then watched it back in the vlog, I thought it looked really nice as well. It's very black. It's got that slightly shiny vibe, which um, an old Illamasqua one had. It's not as shiny as that one, but it's got a slight, slight sheen to it. It's not totally matte. And I think it just makes your eyes pop a little bit, which is nice. Um, and then the other one I've got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills. These are both gifted, by the way. But the other one I've got is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Liner, which is kind of like a strange mix between the two. So it is, do dip it in to get the liner, but it's a little bit more pen-like in application tip. It's more, I think it's like a sponge tip, sort of, if you know what I mean. It's not little hairs like the next one. It's like that kind of bendy, spongy tip. I don't know how to describe it. Um, so yeah, but because of that, as you can see, the shape of it is a little bit more precise and you can get a little bit more precision with it and it's a really nice liner. Yeah, super black again, just easy to use and I've been liking it a lot, so I think I'm gonna use this one today. But yeah, just thought I'd talk you through those. I think they're both new releases as well, so I thought I'd talk you through them because I've been using them and trying them out. However, it is to something that I don't think they're making anymore. It's a Bare Minerals Invisible Bronze, and I think they've stopped making it. Sorry, you guys, but it is lovely. If it's in any shops, still buy it, but it's being discontinued. a lot of the amenities that like a very good hotel has for like not as expensive so yeah enjoyed it apart from obviously having to switch rooms at about 1am <laughs> I don't think really that was their fault but yeah we're gonna go and get some brunch now somewhere which I'm excited about because I'm hungry and I want a coffee so that's what we're gonna do next
we're home again. Train journey was much smoother today. There was no cancellations or anything. Um, and it wasn't as busy, which was nice. It was very chill, I had a little nap. Now I'm gonna go and see David to do my upper body session. And I really don't wanna go. I really, really, really don't wanna go. I don't even wanna get into gym gear. I just don't wanna do any of it, but I'm gonna go because I'm good. But I'm not running today. I'm gonna run tomorrow because my legs are killing me with the combination of my of leg day and spin yesterday. I think I must have pushed myself harder than I usually do in spin or something. So they weren't too bad yesterday, but then in the in the evening they were really bad, and I thought I was I thought they were gonna fall off. So yeah, I'm not running today because my legs are actually just too painful. But I will do it at some point this weekend. Now that we're gonna actually be in London for the weekend, which I'm ex actually quite excited for. We've got a few bits and bobs to be doing, including that that wardrobe clear out. I swear it's happening isn't it? I'm gonna get changed and head to the gym. I don't know if I'll film it today. You guys have seen it before. It'll be the same program, but I think David might be changing my program for next week, but I don't know. I'm back from my session, guys. It was all right. I struggled a bit with some like weights that I would usually be fine with, like on my bench press and stuff, and David told me I'm probably a bit fatigued and that I need to have more than a couple rest days, like I need to have basically rest until I see him again next Wednesday which mm, I think would I will find really hard or I would find really hard he said I can do like gentle stuff he said I could do Pilates so I might just do that and he said not to do like spin or hit which he's probably right but I find it like oh I don't really like if I can do it I'm like why would I not include it also I it's a nice outlet for me in the daytime. It gives me a bit of structure to my day and stuff. So I'm gonna figure out some gentle way I can exercise until next Wednesday, because I think he probably is right. Yeah, anyway, I usually take the weekend off anyway, because yeah, it's good for the muscles, good to rest, and um, it's good for my soul, because usually by the end of the week I am a bit tired. And if I am away on the weekend or whatever, which I often am, then at least I'm like not messing with my routine too much. We'll see how that goes anyway. I don't really know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna sort something out. And I think I'm gonna have a bath, actually, and just relax for um, an hour or so. Because why not? I've been meaning to have a bath for ages, and I just haven't got round to it. That's what I was gonna say. But it also doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me, because obviously I did have a couple, not a couple weeks off cardio, but I did significantly less cardio. So maybe I'm just tired this week because I haven't done it in a little while and my body is readjusting. I don't know. I don't know. I think I might just see how I feel come Sunday evening and see if I'm feeling less fatigued because I am feeling tired and I also don't know whether it's just because we've been so busy so like I'm tired in general not just exercise wise which also could be the case. Who knows. So guys I'm definitely going to go with a little bit of the pumpkin pumpkin this evening running nicely. Can't wait. Right, here we go, guys. I'll keep you posted on how this is looking at the end. It's been a few hours since I last spoke to you guys. I think I was in the bath. I don't know. But I had a really nice bath, went down, had some dinner quickly, and just been chilling, basically, watching shit TV. Tomorrow going to go and see my dad for one final time. They've been in Italy for a week and they're back and gonna go see him before they take their flight back to, well I assume the flight's back to Nashville but they're going back to Memphis. So we're gonna go see them for breakfast in the morning and then I am gonna do, I'm gonna begin the wardrobe process and Zach is gonna hopefully, we still haven't finished editing the pictures from the shoot from the first week of vlogtober so that is like urgent so Zach's so gonna do some of that that's the plans for tomorrow not a super exciting weekend and then it's gonna be strictly which honestly i'm already excited about because i'm that lame okay <laughs> i'm excited okay good night you guys bye